Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to explain a problem on Lorentz series expansion. See the statement of the given problem. Find the Lorentz series expansion of 7z minus 2 by z plus 1 into z into z minus 2. In the ring shaped region, 1 is less than mod z plus 1 is less than 3. This is the given region. In this ring shaped region, we have to find out the expansion of Lorentz series of this function. This means that we have to express this complex variable function in the negative and positive powers of the term z plus 1. Don't forget it. Definitely, surely you will get expansion of this function in positive powers of z plus 1 and negative powers of z plus 1. Okay. See. Let us represent the given function with f of z. Let f of z is equal to 7z minus 2 by z plus 1 into z whole into z minus 2. So, before finding the expansion of this type of functions, we should resolve this fraction to partial fractions. We have to find out the partial fractions first. So, for partial fractions, we have to express as a by z plus 1 plus some constant b by second factor which is z plus c by z minus 2. I will find out this abc values directly c. So, for the numerator of z plus 1, here the factor for z plus 1 is z is equal to minus 1. Replace this z is equal to minus 1 in this function except at z plus 1. Okay, don't replace z is equal to minus 1 in this term. You can replace z is equal to minus 1 in the remaining all terms. So, you will get 7 into minus 1, it would be minus 7, minus 7 minus 2, minus 9 is the numerator, see the denominator, what is z minus 1 into minus 1 minus 2, it would be minus 3, this is the value of capital A. Now, what is the denominator z, it is a factor, so its root is 0, replace z is equal to 0 in the remaining all terms except z. So, 7 times of 0 is 0, 0 minus 2 is minus 2 by 0 plus 1, 1 into 1 minus, sorry, 0 minus 2, it would be negative 2. In this way, we can easily find out unknown constant A, B, C here. So, see the numerator of 2, uh, z minus 2. Replace z is equal to in this entire function except f z minus 2. So, 7 times of 2, 14, 14 minus 2, what is 14 minus 2, 12 by 2 plus 1, it is 3 into 2 only. Because whenever we have z, replace, replace this root, it is a factor, its root is 2, replace that root. So, anyway it is, there are 3 negative signs, so it would be minus 3 times getting cancelled in the numerator by z plus 1. And minus 2 minus 2 will be getting cancelled. Simply we will get 1 by z. And uh, 3 2s are 6. 6 getting 2 times. Plus 2 by z minus 2. First of all, we have to express given, given function as sum of partial fractions. These are partial fractions. This is the first part of the problem. Okay. Now, write the given region. I will take this is equation number 1. Given region is 1 is less than modulus of z plus 1 is less than 3. So, we have to expand the function f of z in the powers of z plus 1. That is why I am taking z plus 1 is equal to w. Okay. So, what is z value? w minus 1. So, this shape this ring shaped region becomes 1 is less than modulus of w is less than because I am replacing z plus 1 is equal to w is less than 3. That implies I will take this region as 1 is less than modulus of w and uh, modulus of w is less than 3. This can be written as 
by dividing with mod less of w on both sides you will get mod less of 1 1 by w is less than 1 since already numerator is 1 which is positive that's why i am writing 1 by mod w as i will write 1 by mod w as mod less of 1 by w no problem and uh, divide with 3 on both sides of this inequality so you will get mod less of w by 3 which is less than 1 since 3 is positive i will write this one as mod less of w by 3 is less than 1 3 3 getting cancelled that's why in this side you will get 1 so these are the regions so since z is equal to w minus 1 this equation number 1 becomes to 1 implies f of z becomes minus 3 by what is z value w minus 1 so w minus 1 plus 1 directly you will replace z plus 1 is equal w also so you will get only minus 3 by w is the first term plus 1 by w minus 1 since it is only z plus 2 by z minus 2 what is z w minus 1 already minus 2 is there that's why it is w minus 3 see now w is the similar term first term first term is the similar term i will take common out the term minus so you will get 1 minus w since since we have mod less of 1 by w is less than 1 i am taking minus w as the common term so you will get 1 minus 1 by w plus 2 by see the last part carefully for last part since we have the region mod less of w by 3 i am taking minus 3 as a common term then only you will get w by 3 term okay see now i will write this one as minus 3 by w minus 1 by w into take this term to numerator it becomes 1 minus 1 by w whole power minus 1 plus into 2 by 3 plus into minus so you will get negative 2 by 3 into 1 minus w by 3 whole power minus 1 so already we know the expansions of 1 minus z whole power minus 1 what is the expansion of 1 minus z whole power minus 1 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube plus so on all terms are positive in this case up to infinite and the short form of this expansion is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity z power n and we can use this formula only when mod less of z this place the mod less of this place is less than 1 only okay according to this formula i am expanding the terms now see see the next step this is similar term minus 3 by w minus 1 by w into so compare this term with this general formula 1 minus 1 by w whole power minus 1 we have z is equal to 1 by w in this formula and also we have modulus of 1 by w is less than 1 since we have this condition we can apply this formula easily so sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity okay suppose we don't have the condition modulus of z is less than 1 we can't apply this condition okay clearly here we have modulus of 1 by w is less than 1 from the given region okay so it becomes 1 by w whole power n minus 2 by 3 into what is the last one here also compare this part with this formula here we have z is equal to w by 3 and also we have the condition modulus of w by 3 is less than 1 that's why we can apply this formula we are able to use this formula here so summation n is equal to 0 to infinity mod w by 3 here z is nothing but w by 3 whole power n in this way we can easily find out the expansion now replace w value minus 3 by z plus 1 w is equal to z plus 1 minus if we take this 1 by w to inside it becomes 1 by w whole power n plus 1 so sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 by w what is w value z plus 1 whole power n plus 1 minus 2 by 3 into 
summation n is equal to 0 to infinity what is w value z plus 1 whole power z plus 1 whole by 3 whole power n okay this is the expansion Lorentz expansion of f of z how can I tell this one is Lorentz series expansion clearly the expansion contains both positive powers and negative powers of the term z plus 1 that's why this is called Lorentz series expansion if expansion of f of z contains only positive powers of the term z plus 1 that expansion is called Taylor series expansion that is the difference between Taylor's and Lorentz series expansion thank you very much in the next video I will give some more problems on Taylor's and Lorentz series expansions this problem is very very important one so please prepare well thank you very much